If I told you that time travel already exists, would you believe me? What if I said that deep within one of the most highly guarded cities in the world, there's a time travel device so powerful that it's being locked away for fear of it falling into the wrong hands? And what if there was proof? Well, in this episode, we're taking a look at the legend of the Chronovisor. No one knows for sure where the Vatican is keeping the chronovisor, but one thing we do know the Vatican is hiding is a holy collection of over 70,000 works, closely guarded art and artifacts collected during the decades the holy city was in power. Even though no one can say for sure, estimates place its value in the billions. However, this collection isn't just about history. It preserves the church's wealth even as the economy and the people in it lost trillions this past year. Even as inflation skyrocketed to nearly 10% in Italy, the church has continued to build out its collection with more contemporary art. Because the last time inflation was this high, this art appreciated an average of 20%, easily outpacing inflation. But if you're not the Pope, how do you help preserve your wealth with multi-million dollar art? You go to Masterworks. I've talked about them a couple of times on my channel because this idea is genius. Masterworks buys high-end contemporary art, scrutinizes it with the SEC, and offers it to their members in the form of shares. This means you can see the incredible potential results of investing in this high-end contemporary art at a price that works for you. Masterworks has sold 12 paintings so far, with the most recent sale handing back a realized profit of 15.4% just three weeks ago. So you can see why there's a wait list as traditional investments continue to suffer. But our viewers can skip this wait joining their over 700,000 members simply by going to the link below. Do support Masterworks as they continue to help us create videos like these. Now, back to the video. In early 1972, shock erupted through Europe when a prominent Italian magazine, La Domenzia del Corriere, published an article with this photo depicting the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, claiming that a machine capable of photographing the past had been invented by a Vatican-funded team, and leading the team was this man. Now you might be thinking what the big deal is about this man, but you see, his name is Father Pellegrino Ernetti, and he wasn't just anyone, he was, at that time, the most famous exorcist in Venice. Despite his supernatural ways, he strongly believed that science and the supernatural were one in the same thing, often saying that entities existed in a different dimension, and his understanding of the laws of physics was the reason he was good at combat against them. This deep understanding of physics led him to work on an audio project involving Gregorian chants in September of 1952. And it was then that Ernetti got the idea of sound existing after death. Despite him thinking it was a good idea, he shelved it for lack of funding and the lack of ability to explain it to his peers. But all that changed after Father Agostino Gemelli, the president of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, was convinced that he heard his dead father's voice while inspecting the project on the Gregorian chants. With funding from Gemelli, Ernetti assembled a dream team of 12 people, including Nobel Prize winner laureate Enrico Fermi and rocket scientist Werner von Braun, known for being one of the founding members of NASA. Well, allegedly, behind closed doors, this was a huge success, and this was the point in time where the chronovisor was born. According to Ernetti, 
The chronovisor worked using its capability of viewing past events by capturing and amplifying residual electromagnetic radiation that has been left in the environment after an event occurs. He even went as far as to say that the device was so powerful it was also able to capture the thoughts and emotions of the people involved in those events. Claiming that he and his team had used the device to witness some of the most significant events in human history, specifically the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Furthermore, Ernetti was said to have used the chronovisor to witness a performance of Theestus, a lost tragedy by the father of Latin poetry, Quintus Aeneas, that took place in Rome 169 BC and reconstructed Aeneas' missing text. And even though literature researchers are skeptical about the work, no one can say for sure if the work was real or fabricated. People were excited and fascinated. All the answers about human history could now be answered, they thought. But no, the chronovisor was never seen by anyone in the public. Coupled with the reconstructed text, this casted doubt on if the chronovisor actually existed. To add fuel to the already burning argument that the chronovisor was real, an Italian magazine received a photograph of the face of Christ on a wood carving in a small Umbrian church, refuting the original photo of Jesus Christ being crucified that was released in La Domenica del Corriere, saying that it was just a hoax. Despite this, Ernetti held on to his claims that the chronovisor was real and explained that the reason why the wood carving and the image looked so similar was because Spanish sculptor Lorenzo Cuyaut Valera crafted the wood carving based on a nun's vision, which allegedly showed the actual crucifixion, just as they had seen. People responded to Ernetti, discrediting him by saying things like, if such a machine exists, why is it not used today? Surely there would be no doubt about history, crimes, and scandal if a machine was able to capture moments from our past, which he addressed with an open letter saying that Pope Pius XII had ordered him not to disclose any information about the device because of its perilous nature. It was not looking good for Ernetti and the chronovisor, but then in 1988, something changed. Well, you see, in 1988, the Vatican issued a decree stating that anyone who employs a device capable of harnessing the power of sound and time will be excommunicated. And if you ask me, that sounds a little bit too specific for something that everyone claims does not exist. If it was really a hoax, what was the Vatican really worried about? Even though the evidence was inconclusive, the rumor soon died down, until 2002, when François Brun published his book, Le Nouveau Mystère du Vatican, The New Mystery of the Vatican. In his book, Brun said that Ernetti had told him that besides recording Christ from the Last Supper to his death, Brun also mentioned that they observed speeches by Cicero, Mussolini, and Napoleon. However, also said that the machine was disassembled after the experimental stages because of fear that it could reveal anything that will overturn the current civilization. Further statements were revealed when on his deathbed in 1994. Ernetti confessed that he had made it all up, revealing how the lost play was indeed written by him and the photograph of Jesus Christ was just an image of the sculpture. So, was the case closed? Was that the end of the line for the chronovisor? Well, yes and no. Ernetti also revealed that the reason behind making up the stories of the chronovisor was because the machine really did exist and was workable but has long since been confiscated by the Vatican. And when the news came for the story, he realized that it wouldn't have been believable without a shred of evidence. And, well, he held on to that claim till he passed away. 
Despite the intriguing claims made by Father Ernetti, there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of the chronovisor. The machine has never been publicly demonstrated, and no one has been able to replicate its alleged capabilities. Many experts have dismissed the chronovisor as a hoax or a fantasy, noting that it violates the laws of physics and would require a level of technology that is far beyond anything that currently exists. One of the primary arguments against the existence of the chronovisor is the idea that we can view events from the past in real time, implying that those events are still happening even though they occurred in the past. This is a fundamental violation of the laws of causality, which dictate that events in the past cannot be changed or influenced by events in the future. Although it could be a possibility, as an Australian physicist has just proven that time exists in a loop, past, present, and future. But we'll save that for another video. Another argument against the chronovisor is that it would require a level of technology that is far beyond anything that currently exists. The alleged capabilities of the chronovisor would require the ability to capture and amplify extremely weak signals, as well as the ability to decode those signals and convert them into coherent images and sounds. This level of technology is currently beyond the capabilities of modern science and would require a significant breakthrough in our understandings of the laws of physics. Despite the lack of scientific evidence to support the existence of the chronovisor, the concept of being able to view historical events in real time remains a fascinating one. Many people are intrigued by the idea of being able to witness the most significant moments in human history, and the idea of being able to experience those events firsthand is undoubtedly an enticing one. As for the alleged sightings of historical events that have been attributed to the chronovisor, one possible explanation that skeptics have brought to the table is that these sightings are the result of false memories or hallucinations. It is possible that people who claim to have seen historical events are simply remembering things that did not actually happen, or that they are experiencing hallucinations that are the result of psychological or neurological conditions. Another possible explanation for the alleged sightings of historical events is that they are the result of time slips or temporal anomalies. It is possible that the chronovisor exists in a different way, creating a sort of time slip that allows people to experience events as if they were happening in the present. This would be consistent with some of the anecdotal accounts of people who claim to have experienced time slips or temporal anomalies, although there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of these phenomena. While the chronovisor remains a hypothetical device with no scientific evidence to support its existence, the concept continues to capture the imaginations of scientists, writers, and enthusiasts alike. The idea of being able to visit historical events in real time raises some fascinating questions about the nature of time and the limits of human technology and it will undoubtedly continue to inspire works of fiction and speculation for years to come. But for now, with all the evidence present, we can only wonder if the chronovisor is actually real or where is it being hidden at?